this small pill right here that you cannot even pinch with your fingers this is one of them this single pill by itself can kill a human being and this is today what is killing our young men and women this pill right here is what is killing a lot of our young men and women and in our cemetery in Burnsville not too far from us a walking distance from this masjid many young men and women are in that cemetery because of this pill in protecting our well-being in protecting the state of mind of the Muslim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it forbidden anything that distorts the state of mind of the Muslim let alone anything that dangerous the body and today in this country in the United States the big one of the biggest killers has been prescription overdose prescription overdose in 2019 alone has claimed over 70,000 lives in the United States over 70,000 lives have been lost to, to, due to prescription overdose in the state of Minnesota prescription overdose claimed in 2019 413 lives out of that 413 all around 300 288 to be exact were related to opiate over op opiate overdoses 2019 alone we have lost tens could be 20 30 40 50 anywhere in that range we have lost those young men to this drug in the streets if we do the math if, we, if Minnesota lost about 300 lives and the Muslim community alone just lost only 30 which is a conservative number if we only lost 30 in 2019 that is more than 10% or around 10% of all deaths that were related to the drug we may not be 10% of the population but 10% of those at least 10% of those who died from this drug overdose have been young Muslim men and women young boys and girls mostly boys last year in 2019 the Drug Enforce Enforcement Agency of Minnesota confiscated 46,000 pills 46,000 synthetic pills that were made by people that were not licensed that were fake and been pushed in the streets 46,000 of them 1,500 of these pills were recovered from one young man who belonged to our Muslim community these are the drugs that are killing our young men and women and sometimes adults when you ask these kids who are using these drugs or some of the kids that sell it they will tell you that sometimes it's mothers and fathers that come up to them to buy them or to sell them so it's not only the young that are affected and do not expect that these are little kids on the streets these are lost children, no they are from all types of households we have seen we have seen and believe me I have seen personally myself kids who were in the past in recent years used to take part in Quran competitions had the Quran memorized and suffering from these problems you see kids that come from good households well respected households great parents that are on the streets doing this without the knowledge of their parents you will see young girls young girls they're, you can't tell anything from their appearance that they're using these kind of drugs or they're bad in nature but they're still using this so this is not like the drugs in the past where it changes the, the person entirely you're not going to see the person drunk or high they could be using it and it's still out there functioning fine they could be in your household they could be in anyone's household using it or selling it I talked to one of the children one day young man and his parents kept him in the house for about two months he did not leave the house for about two months he was locked in the house grounded 
for two months. And he told me in the two months that he was home, he was selling the drugs from his house, from the balcony, and collecting the money. These drugs, this is one of them. This small pill right here, that you cannot even pinch with your fingers, this is one of them. This single pill by itself can kill a human being. And this is today what is killing our young men and women. This pill right here is what is killing a lot of our young men and women. And in our cemetery in Burnsville, not too far from us, a walking distance from this masjid, many young men and women are in that cemetery because of this pill. Single pill of this, or even a fraction of this, can claim the life of a human being. You do not have to be using it in the past. You do not have to have done anything in the past. This pill alone costs $30. This single pill alone costs $30 US dollars in the streets. Imagine the person, the young boy or the young girl, or the young mother or father who has to take this pill every single day to function, to be part of the society and part of the community. Imagine the young boy or girl who has to take this pill to sleep. And a lot of them will tell you that they needed to sleep. A lot of them will tell you that they needed to eat and function. A lot of them will even tell you they needed to do their homework. And I've heard that. Single pill can claim the life of a human being. And to save them, it cannot even take three, four minutes. By the time they take it, and this, the, 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 it gets to them, three, five minutes they could be dead. And no one may notice. They could be in their bed and dead and be discovered the next day. They could be in their car. They could be at their workplace. And all of this has happened. We have seen it all. And the reason we talk about it today is because summer is coming up. The months of summer are coming. And in these months, we will see an increase in this. In these coming months, we will see an increase in the usage of this pill in the community. Ramadan is coming. Unfortunately, last Ramadan, we have lost a number of children due to this pill. During Ramadan, during the summertime, during the pandemic, none of that stuff or none of those occasions are stopping these kids from using it because of the addiction problem. If you are a young man or woman in the audience, listen to this plea, who is using it or is thinking about using this. This can claim your life. You're not smarter than the young men and women that we bury every month, every summer. You're not smarter than them. You're not more intelligent. Don't think that this next pill is not going to kill you. None of them thought this was going to be the end of their life. None of them thought the last pill that they took was the killer pill. Yes, coding can be difficult. Withdrawal from this drug can be difficult. But what's more difficult is to lose, to lose your life. What is more difficult is for you, for your mother to mourn, for your father and your family to mourn, not knowing how they lost you. If you know a friend who's using this, if you are a young man in the audience and you know a friend who's using this, the time to tell them to stop is now, not tomorrow. Tomorrow might be too late. Tonight, they might take one of these again. And it could be the last thing that they take. Tonight could be the last night that they live. And to save them could be in your hands. Do not be ashamed to go up to them and approach them and tell them to, to quit and to stop. Do not be ashamed to go out to an adult or a counselor, or someone who can help, or a professional, and seek for help. Be ashamed that you are the reason that they die. Be ashamed that you are the reason tomorrow, and for the rest of your life you're going to live in regret, because you could have done something about a young man's life. Be ashamed that you're going to live in regret for the rest of your life. 
when you could have done something about it. The, the decision is in your hand today. If you're using it, the time to stop is now. Withdrawal could be difficult. It could be painful, but it's doable. What is, made more, what is more painful is death. And what you cannot come back from is death. We have seen people who made it and who continue to struggle to make it. They're not better than you. You could do it. If you're a parent who is a child who is not involved in this, do not feel safe from it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and protect our children from this. But do not shame others because they have ch children who are struggling with this. We have seen kids who were in it yesterday, who are today advocating and who are today promoting for kids to come out of this, who are helping, who are volunteering their time, who are putting energy to save other children when they were in it yesterday. And we have seen kids who were in recent years and days, who were in Quran competitions, who were excelling in life in schools, academically and in religion, who are now struggling with this. You are not better than them. You are not a better parent than those parents who are struggling. If you have a child who is struggling with this, do not despair and do not give up. People go through much worse in life. We are all tested differently. Each one of us in life goes through a test. And we all go through tests differently. If this is what you've been tested with, Know that this is an opportunity for you to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be patient in your test. Be firm in your test. And use this time to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And finally, I conclude with one of the solutions that is available out there. This is not a permanent solution, but it's a temporary solution. If you see a kid is struggling with this, and if you happen to come across it, this here, this here is a Narcan spray. This is not a permanent solution. But this can save a life. It's a simple spray. Simple push and a spray onto the person's nose. If you see someone is struggling, this can save a life. If you suspect that your child uses this, uses this drug, or has overdosed in the past, one of the officers on a Friday called me, Local, uh, local police called me and he said, this week alone, we have seen over 12 overdose-related incidents within your community. Young men between 20 and 24, within your community, he said. Over 12 incidents in a single week. And I will conclude with this. The problem is not going to end here. The problem is not going to end here. This is not going to be the end of it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it the end. But reality tells us this is not the end of it. This summer, this Ramadan, we might lose another kid or two or three. We might lose another young man or woman. Another mother might mourn. If you are a young man in the audience, don't let that mother be your mother. Don't let that soul that's going to be lost be you. And if you are a friend, who has another friend who uses this. Don't let them be the person to lose this life, uh, to, to lose this summer. Don't let, them be, don't let them be the next victim. And you can help. You can stop them. You could at least have no regret in your future and say, I have done my best. But for you to live, if all of the kids that, are we, that we buried last summer and the years before, all of them have friends and had friends who knew about them. They had friends who were with them when they were overdosing. They had friends who were with them when they were dying. Many of them did not die alone. They had people with them. But they did not ask for help. They did not seek help. You can make that change. You can save that life. You can be, start with your own life. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded in the Quran, Qu anfusakum wa ahlikum. Start with your own selves first. And then to your families and friends. Allahumma habib ilan al-iman. وزينه في قلوبنا وكره إلينا الكفر والفسوق والعصيان واجعل الله ممن الراشدين Again, I emphasize and we cannot emphasize enough Don't let this be what kills you in life If you are a young man in the audience or woman If you are a young girl in the audience 
Don't let this be what takes your life. 